All right. Hello, Art Appreciation. Um, let's see. Let's come down here. Here we go. Uh, before I, I get started on this, I just wanted to um, talk about uh, you, that you maybe have already noticed that the school is asking us to stay remote until the 18th. And uh, being this class, uh, I am able to do it remotely without anything being lost really um, from the material. Uh, we'll, we'll continue to do this uh, until the school ends the, the remote phase. So someday I will meet you. Um, <laughs> actually, I'm recording this right here in uh, in this, I don't know, call it blizzard. So I'm kind of glad I'm not driving to Niles today. But other than that, I uh, look forward to when we can meet in person. But for now, we'll stay safe. We'll stay safe <laughs> and off the roads. Um, so I have, today I'm doing this in two parts. So uh, the first part, I want to just uh, show you what we're gonna go over. Uh, I already put the second part on here, and then um, I will post this here and send it in a message. Um, so I have a PowerPoint that I went over, and uh, it has different artists that use drawing in different ways. And I just want to remind you that uh, you can watch a video, but if you go back into the PowerPoint and click on to the images, there is information embedded in, in there that. Uh, some of it's repeated in here, but some of it's only embedded. Uh, and then here, if you want to look at the names here, you can print this out. This is a document. Uh, you've already gone over this. So here are the videos. This one, definitely, I, I want you to watch all of them, but definitely watch this one. This is uh, literally it has 10 inventions, um, Leonardo da Vinci, that, that are pretty amazing. And it has to do with drawing. Uh, and then these, uh, take a look, yeah. All right, so yeah, those are the videos or articles. Um, so check those out. And then we have an assignment. And uh, let's see, I think I already have it open. I had a little bit of trouble opening it on there. It took a while. It, I didn't have trouble. It just seemed like it took a while to open. So um, that's not it. Or maybe I don't have it. Maybe we'll have to go back. <clears throat> Modules, okay. Let's see if we can open it. All right, this is what I hit. And it seemed like it took a while before maybe. I guess it was. Um, there we go. All right. Um, so you're going to uh, have a project to do. This is um, uh, a written assignment, but you also will uh, be asked to do a drawing. So I'm going to read through the instructions. Uh, using only images and no words. Draw a set of instructions for a simple activity for someone to follow. Give them your drawing to use as a guide and observe them carrying out the actions you've depicted. Then report on the following. Describe what you drew in the process of drawing it. How did you record the activity? How did you record the activity yourself? Did you use reference images or imagine the event? Rate and review their performance. How well did they do carrying out your instructions? Were there any errors that, uh, or did, were they able to understand it? After having seen their performance of your drawing, how would you have made your image more helpful to explain the situation you wanted them to execute? So uh, keep those word minimums, 200, and include a photo of your drawing. Um, if you want to, it's, uh, you, just for my amusement, you can include a drawing of the person, I mean, a photo of the person carrying it out too. That's always kind of fun. 
Um, sometimes I, I see there was, I've noticed that uh, people that live with their siblings often make their brothers or sisters do um, creepy things. <laughs> it's an opportunity. Probably say, you help me with my homework and then make them, you know, stick their head into the trash can or something. But um, I, another one that this girl, this roommate, she sent a picture. She did a drawing of her uh, telling her showing her roommate getting into the shower fully clothed and turning the shower on and then she took a picture and uh, her roommate actually did it so uh, I would just say be kind <laughs> be kind but anyway you're going just to go over it again you're going to do a drawing and this drawing right here this is from an artist we'll look at later um, this would be a pretty good drawing <laughs> so you know you can do stick figures it's as long what we're actually trying to see is does your drawing communicate you know when we look at leonardo da vinci that did these drawings in the 15th century and people are still getting uh his information that's a pretty success pretty successful communication uh with drawing but here uh is this so you know this might be one that you would draw and uh you know here's a picture of uh, this person holding all these wine bottles. Um, now, if you look, you would say this, I would say this is a pretty good execution, but it's not perfect because look, there's three bottles there and he has two. This bottle is going in a different direction. And he's got three bottles between his legs and he only has two and those two are going in different directions. So it would be, um, it would be a good, he understood the directions, he just didn't do it exactly. So those are things that you would put in. And then, so you might say, well, how could I, uh, you know, is there a way that he could have drawn that for him to understand that better? I don't think so, but, um, you know, maybe that's all the wine bottles. He had. <laughs> that's quite a few wine bottles already. Um, so you you know, you might uh, draw a picture asking somebody to make you a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but you can't use words. So you would have to draw all the things. Now you might just draw one picture, you might draw it in steps. Um, so you're gonna do your evaluation of how the whole thing went in 200 words, and then you're gonna do a drawing and include your drawing. And you don't have to, but if you want to, you can also include a picture of the person who is carrying out the task that you are drawing. So, um, you know, um, I've had moms give, uh, she said that uh, it was the first time she could get her daughter to like clean her room. So now she's going to start doing drawings of like her making the bed or putting her toys away. So um, anyway, uh, so yeah, uh, uh, this is the, the rest of uh, the drawing. We have, you know, kind of, a, this is a pretty full week. Um, so if you're snowed inside and you have somebody that you can give a drawing to, you can knock this homework out today. And uh, I will, um, we will stay with the lockdown uh, as long as the school is asking us to. And um, we will uh, not lock down, it's a remote, remote learning. Um, and I will, uh, if you have any questions, please contact me and um, uh, have a good, safe week. Stay warm.